It's again a Gwen day today. Gwen has released three variants of their Omni 3 model in Gwen 3 family. We already covered the first one which is Gwen 3 Omni Instruct version in this video as you can see here. For this video we are going to locally install this thinking variant of this Gwen 3 Omni model and we are going to test it out. I am going to use VLLM tool in order to get it installed. If you don't know what VLLM is, please go to my channel, search VLLM and then you should be able to become a hero from zero in no time. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Now, for the purpose of installation, as I said that I'm going to use VLLM. So let me take you to my terminal. This is my Ubuntu system. This is my GPU card NVIDIA RTA, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. You would at least need that. Okay, so for the installation, all you need to do is to run these commands. So what is happening here is we are git cloning the VLLM. And then from there, we are installing all the requirements plus transformer and especially the Quen Omni utilities. This is going to take um, five minutes or so. So let's wait for it to get run. And as that happens, if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to best compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So what exactly is this model? Let's have a very quick overview. It's a natively multimodal foundation model designed for real-time voice forward interaction across text, images, audio, and video. That is why the word Omni. It's trained with early text first pre-training and mixed multimodal data. So it's classic NLP and image skills don't regress while audio and audio video abilities reach state of the art on many public benchmarks. There is a huge emphasis on multilinguality in this model. The model handles around 119 text languages. It accepts speech in 19 languages and the list is on the model card and it can also speak back in 10 languages. In practice, that means you can prompt, converse and transcribe in multiple languages and even switch mid dialogue. The talker can synthesize responses in a chosen voice and language while the thinker keeps reasoning in the background. I will be covering this model in multiple videos as I mentioned in the previous one because there is so much to cover. But for the purpose of this model, let's try out something different. Let's get it installed through VLLM and then we will go from there. And I will be talking more about its architecture later down the road. Let me take you back to my terminal. Now let's serve it with VLLM. First I'm just setting it um, the VLLM use and then we are serving the model as you can see. I am allowing the local media path. I am setting its context length around 32,000. If you get out of memory error, just reduce it. This figure, uh, this number here. And then we are just going to go with the bfloat16, which consumes two bytes to store model tensor. So that's it. So let me run this. And it is going to download the model. There are 16 shards of it. While it downloads, let's talk a bit more about the architecture and other details of the model because I believe this model really, really needs a lot of discussion. Now, this is the whole flow, how it works, the multilinguality, what input and output you give. For me, the most interesting part is this. It uses a mixture of expert transformers split into a thinker and a talker. The thinker is the reasoning core that ingests multi-modal tokens such as text embeddings, vision encoder outputs and audio codec embeddings and performs long context reasoning. Mid-layer, um, which is a hidden extraction, taps the thinker's internal states and feeds them to the talker, which drives natural speech generation through a streaming codec decoder, a multi-token prediction or MTP module that accelerates speech synthesis with low latency. Inputs are unified as modality-specific hidden tokens like text, vision, audio codec packed into one sequencer. Output can be text or speech with configurable speaker voices. This thinker-talker split lets the model keep rich cross-model reasoning while producing fluent, low latency audio in many languages. Now, one of the, um, I won't say drawback, but still one of the limitation is that it seems the 
code which they have released in VLLM and in Transformer still doesn't produce audio output. I have tried it out in the last one hour, doesn't work. So for now, I'm just going to go with the text output. But as soon as they release it or merge it in Transformers or VLLM, I'm going to do of course, I'll be making a lot more other videos because there is so much to cover in this one. I can't really cover everything in one video. So bear with me. But what we are going to do, we are just going to use some multimodal inputs like audio and image and text. But then in the next one, we will also be outputting it in the multimodal format. OK, let's go back to terminal. And the model is downloaded as you can see and you can also see it is consuming 60 gp of vram on load when we do the inference when the kv cache grows because um, the vram holds both kv cache and model weight so it is going to go up and thinking model so i'm expecting a lot more anyway we will check and the model is now being served on our local system let me also show you the vram consumption initially so you see, uh, it is just consuming over 71 gig now. Anyway, so let's do the inference. And if it uh, gives me out of memory because I just have 80 GB, I'm just going to reduce the context length while serving the model. Now for the inference, I'm going to actually test the model as per its model card. With the Omni models, the best way is to use all modalities together, as you can see on the screen. So not only I'm going to combine all the modalities of text, image, audio and video, I'm also going to check out the multilinguality. So I'm going to provide it three files at the same time, a video file, an audio file and an image, all with the same theme of multilinguality. Let me first play the audio prompt file. Translate the sentence. Clinging to the past is like holding onto smoke into the following languages. English, Mandarin Chinese, Hindi, Spanish, Korean, French, Standard Arabic, Bengali. And there are a lot of other uh, languages which I'm mentioning in that one. Let's see how many it can do. Plus what I'm going to do in the similar fashion, I'm going to give it a video file. Let me also show you the video file. So this is a video AI generated, by the way. It is just, you know, multicultural, multilingual from across the globe, some representation of some of the people. And then I have generated an abstract image of just multilinguality with various uh, fusion and blend of uh, languages from across the globe, sort of amalgamation, which is being shown here. Now, if I take you back to my inference code, which I have written. So what I have done is I have just provided all of these audio file, video image, all on my local system. We are going to get, we already have downloaded this thinking model. It is being served via VLLM on this endpoint. And we are going to do the inference and I am asking it answer the question in the audio file. And the question was to uh, translate that sentence into various languages. Let's see what model does here. So let me take you to maybe I will just open another terminal and run it from there. So I'm just going to run this script from my local system. And while it runs, let's check out the VRAM consumption in real time. So you can see it is just hovering around uh, touch over 75 gig of VRAM, which is good. So fits and onto my one GP of 80 GP with that context length. And there you go. The model has come back with a fabulous response. It has thought for a while that what it needs to do. It has identified that sentence. And then it also is saying that if it could find that sentence in the audio, it did. And it is now doing the correct translation. If you are that language speaker, please also check and let me know. Uh, there are a few mistakes, as you can see in the Hindi. It has also included some uh, English words. Maybe it's not supported, I'm not sure, but if there are 119, it should be there. Even in Korean, there are some English words here and there, so it is not good. But let me know what you think. Google Translate tells me it has done an okay job with some of the languages, but some of them are totally off. And then, you know, wherever it is putting in some English words, like this one again in Bengali, that is not good. Uh, yeah, I think it has done okay in terms of literal translation. 
but the other one was quite good the instruct one but thinking one i think uh, it needs bit more training i guess maybe they have rushed the training of this for reinforcement learning but anyway and look at the chinese ones so it's a chinese model so it has really given some special treatment to chinese there you go okay and then it is talking about tagalog you see but at some places it has tried to describe what translation is and that is where it has put it in english so but at some places it has just uh, mixed it up so i think it should just do literal translation instead of explaining it and then it is still thinking 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 and then this is a various translation now the, in the final one it has done wonderfully well so I, you know thinking part is not good but i mean somewhere it is doing some but maybe it is just part of thinking just like i am thinking right now but uh, let's focus on this one you see that th this is where it has done a very very good job now this is where i intentionally included korean twice and it has identified that <laughs> and that has confused confused it and it has done it again it is again checking 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 i just see few mistakes but not many and thinking is complete now let's check the final answer so final answer please also check and let me know what do you think in this one there are no mistakes um, for example it has hasn't really put in uh, english in within the sentences it is literal translation looks pretty good and you see it is also telling me korean was listed twice in the query well done this is pretty good very happy with the result let me know what do you think but most importantly i think the key takeaway is that if you have multimodal requirement um, video audio text image you can just give everything to one model and then it is going to give you a response a nuanced one from all the modalities please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support